If you're walking along the beach and you feel a strong wind to blow, that might be a hurricane on the coast. And if you hear somebody whisper and tell you better get yourself ready, that's probably the gray man ghost. They say he walked these parts. He from Pauley's Island in Georgetown County. Say a long time ago he was the original owner of the Pelican Inn. Went to England to be educated, but he turned back and come back to South Carolina because he loved that place so. The gray man is the ghostly guardian of Polly's Island. Any major hurricane is preceded by a visit from the gray man. Visitors will simply be walking along the seashore here at Polly's and they'll see ahead of them a gray figure. When they approach the figure, it disappears into thin air, not behind a piling or a sand dune, mind you, but into thin air. It's happened before every major hurricane since the great hurricane of 1893. There was a gentleman who lived here in the Pelican Inn named Plowden C.J. Weston. He had Hagley Plantation that had belonged to his parents and their parents. Here on their ocean part of their plantation, they built the Pelican Inn. Plowden C.J. Weston and his lovely English wife, Emily Isdale, whom he had met while he was attending school those two years in England. Well, Emily and Plowden had this house constructed out of boards milled at Hagley Plantation. All these boards were brought over and constructed on the island. They loved their island home so very much. He was a kind and dear, generous man, but he didn't live out the war. And not because of fighting either. He had tuberculosis. Those who were in the higher up ranks than him had it fixed so that he got a job where he wasn't out in the field anymore, so he did live till almost the end of the war. He passed away in Conway, South Carolina, with dear Emily by his side. He was buried in All Saints Waccamaw Episcopal Churchyard. After his death, when people began to see the gray man before every major hurricane, they wondered, well, since he wears gray, could this not be the gray great coat of Plowden C.J. Weston who loved the island more than anyone else? Perhaps he is the gray man. Just know that if you're walking along the seashore of Polly's Island and see him, beware. A storm is coming and you need to leave. Ghosts and legends of South Carolina. In the midst of these legends is traces of history and heritage. Listen here, send us your stories. I'm a pearly Sue, and good night.